Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. You know, I don't know if you have someone in your life. Some of you, you have a person in your life. Now, someone could be entering your life or coming back or you're taking a relationship to the next level. But there's heavy, heavy, like soulmate energy here. Um, it's like the beginning of something like you're manifesting a new beginning here. Someone is manifesting you. But whatever this is, it's something it's very healthy. It's very fun. It's very light and flirty. OK, I feel like somebody at some point recently could have been sort of um, having cold feet or rejecting this opportunity. Someone is starting to see. Yeah, someone has made the decision that they want to hold on to you. They don't want to let you go. They're coming in with an offer. This could definitely be someone here who has been at a crossroads. But this person, this stress, fear, anxiety is coming to a close. And this person is rushing in towards you. So you can expect a brand new beginning. Wow, I cannot believe this. Like, the energy is just here. The cards are just, like, talking. <laughs> Whatever stronghold has been in your life, this is coming to an end. Um, it's like you finally defeated something in your life um you won this battle here um god has been on your side but when it comes to yeah like marriage celebration oh my goodness marriage celebration you have manifested an actual divine counterpart here this person is coming towards you with nothing but true divine beautiful love and a huge offer your heartache this is over you're walking away from something some of you guys could have been separated from someone the two of you could have both walked away from a situation or you learned a lot of lessons or you're on a journey of soul searching after some type of heartbreak here but it looks like you and someone now you have a spiritual connection and you really want to work together with this person you may or may not know this person but you are indeed wish fulfillment for someone they're looking at you and they've decided that they 100 percent want to have a long-term committed relationship with you this is like legacy building somebody is for sure that it's you that they want this could be like a past life soulmate for many of you but it looks like you had to deny something. You had to turn something down here. Um, there's some kind of um, breadcrumbing energy here that someone could have been trying to present to you. Yeah, you had some type of narcissist here in your energy. And it looks like you moved away from that person for sure. Uh, moved on from peaceful, calm waters away from this scammer that was in your life. This very narcissistic, low vibrational person who didn't want to give you any type of equal give and take. And... Somebody here, they didn't want to see, they didn't want you to see your own worth and your value. They wanted you to be out in the cold, feeling rejected and abandoned, confused. This person has been laying and, and waiting and plotting on you constantly, but it doesn't matter because you're still moving on to um, peaceful, calm waters. You're moving on to a lot of victory and success. Somebody is very, very sure about presenting an offer toward making an offer and it's going to lead towards marriage and a true commitment. Um... Whoever tried to block this connection, they for sure are at a loss right now because it didn't work. Okay? Somebody had like one more opportunity to try to block you. It's something here about timing. Um, maybe astrology pay plays a huge role in this, but someone here sees for sure that like they're hung, they're stuck. Um, whatever sacrifice or whatever they tried to do, they worked very hard at this. It didn't work. Yeah, somebody definitely rushed in using some type of magic or whatever to try and do something. It didn't work. This person has to turn their back now and walk away because all they did now was create a big burden for themselves. You're getting a connection here. Wow. Wow. Somebody is for sure getting like you're, whoever you guys meet or reconnect with soon or whoever you choose to take this relationship to the next level with. This is leading to marriage. Like you have been chosen. The lover speaks of a choice. And then nine of pentacles to the empress. This is saying here the only thing that you're missing is your actual counterpart. That's it. And someone here could have been for sure reflecting over something from the past. Someone here has finally had an epiphany. And they're like, wow, I'm single. That person is single. You know, maybe we've had a very similar um, journey in life. Somebody now is willing to take a leap of faith. This is not something that... Someone is going to rush to do. I feel like this is a, a situation that it does require patience or if this person is already in your life, you and this person, you have been patient. But look at this. Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Look, Knight, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Someone here has been slow to show, show you love. Um, 
they've been show they've been slow to come in and show you exactly what this situation could be before they made a decision this is someone that's coming towards you that wants to be very very sure that when they decide on you that you're not going to let them go and they're not going to let you go so this is someone who is for sure they're playing for keeps you or this person both could have been in a situation before where you were deceived that you were betrayed and hurt someone is finally opening their heart up to new love they finally are saying that they want to be passionate about making an offer to this divine feminine or divine masculine here so the judgment with the ten of swords Again, someone here is finally blowing the trumpet on something here. It, this could be 10 years of karma, um, the past 10 months, or something um, very significant since October of last year could have been very significant. Someone here, but 10 is a completion. So it's like the worst is over. Someone is sitting back and they're like, whew, finally. Finally, I got out of that cycle. I got away from that person. And someone is truly ready to heal. Now, I, I will say this energy is someone again they are they're moving slow and it's not that they're moving slow because they don't like you they don't want you this person is moving slowly because they're coming out of a very difficult time this could be you and this person both mirroring each other the two of you are going to move slowly okay you're going to be slow to give a lot you're going to be slow to open your heart but that's a good thing the temperance card is here so it's saying that the two of you will blend your ideas with one another very beautiful. It's like if you take a leap of faith, I'll take a leap of faith. I'm hearing when you move, I move. So you and this person, you're going <laughs> to... So weird. I'm hearing step in the name of love. You're, you're going to step in the name of love. Like the two of you, I feel like this is you and another person. One of you is more focused on tangible things while the other is a bit more emotional. This could definitely be like a feminine and a masculine. Although these are two knights here, this could be a feminine and a masculine energy. The two of you are bringing something to the table. One of you is bringing more emotions while the other is bringing something that's going to bring more stability and security. But you both could be coming from a period of feeling like there was some type of loss or... Um, some type of issue, obstacle, or challenge, either with finances, career. Someone here could be relocating. Somebody, somebody here could have been going through family issues. But it's like both of you, somehow, you're going to meet up exactly where you need to on your path, on your journey. And if you've known this person, like if this is a friend or something like that, someone is having a, a serious like epiphany, like, oh, wow. This amazing, single, self-sufficient, abundant person in my life all this time. This is someone who I could actually, like, marry. Someone is seeing an opportunity to have, like, a very serious connection with you. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. This is something that's brand new for a lot of you. Now, this person, for some of you, they definitely could be in your life. But it's not someone you've had a relationship or a lot of history with. I want to make that very clear. This may be someone that you're casually dating and you haven't gone to the next level or someone from your past. That you and this person, maybe you always had a crush on this person, but, you know, they never said anything. You But it's something here. It's very fresh. It's new. Somebody here is also possibly getting like a new job. Something is changing with someone's um stability or security there is a new project or something here that someone is working on and for some of you this may be how you meet this person because of like a new job relocating a new project or something like, like someone here it's a new leash on life that they have but for sure someone is playing for keeps with the justice and the four of pentacles somebody here could have been holding back because they were waiting for something to become more balanced This is very, very good. But it's like when this person, this person could be divorced. They're like, if, if this person say, if they ever offer love again, it ha they have to make sure that it lasts. They, they don't want to. This is someone who does not want to get married and divorce. And I feel like they've already been divorced before. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Nine of Pentacles to the Empress and then the Hierophant. I'm telling you, this is marriage. This is marriage. Somebody here, they feel like in life, they've had to go through a lot. But they're they're looking at this divine feminine out and they're coming into this awakening where they're like, okay, 
even after the storm, I'm, I'm hearing after the hurricane, this person's like, this person is in alignment with my morals, my values. Why not? Yeah, the truth. This person sees your truth now. Six of, of cups. This is for sure a soulmate. You could have had a, a past life. Connect. Yeah, you were married to this person in a past life, I feel. That love is still there. This is real interesting to me, though, because I see it so clearly. It's very, it's so fun, light, flirty, very innocent. Um, this is like a friend's first type of situation for some of you. This could already be like your best friend or you're reconnecting with a friend from the past. Something here about like relocating though. You guys may relocate and you may go to a city and someone that you know you went to high school or college with or something. You know, you just may reconnect with one person in the city um, or wherever you're going. It could be a new job or something. It could be in your same city, but you're re some of you, you're reconnecting with someone. And they're going to be like, wow, it's that I've been looking for you my whole life, but you've already been right there. It's like, your perfect person has been right under your nose. They've been right there in your community. And you, for some of you, especially Divine Feminists, you have more than one person in your energy. And, yeah, you're making a choice, though, to go to follow your heart. Um, something here has changed. You know, recently in the readings, we've had a lot of stuff coming up, of course, about black magic and stuff like that there is some kind of spell curse jinx hex something here has been lifted or it's just a, a very um strong shift in the energy where it's like love is here love is here and it's coming in it's here to stay a like, yeah the king of cups here there's a king of cups there's a, a person out here who really has a lot of love and this person is about to make an offer and if they've been dragging their feet or hesitant about making an offer something here is about to speed up someone is 100 percent making their mind up that they want this nine of pentacles this divine feminine here this single abundant person somebody's like i want to marry that person yeah five of wands here there's been some type of competition for your heart yeah, seven of swords. And someone here has been in the background being very sneaky and deceptive, okay? Trying to cause chaos and conflict for these two lovers. One of you could have an ex or someone. Um, again, travel here. You and this person may decide to travel, but you're moving away from all of this conflict and this chaos. There's definitely been a past lover, someone in your life or in their life that has been causing issues. Some of you could even have a new connection that unfortunately it has been under some type of spiritual attack, but you are moving forward onto peaceful, calm waters. And this is going to be a relationship where there's equal give and take. Yeah. Here's the death card and the fool. There's a brand new beginning here. There's a lot of angels that are guiding this connection. This is so, so beautiful. Like, Oh, thank goodness. We got something. Something new, something fresh. <laughs> so there's an ending here. An ending and a new beginning. Yeah. And someone here has missed out. So if you have a person in your life, this angry, bitter person that feels like they missed an opportunity, someone here has possibly been trying to do like spell work or use very manipulative tactics to have you stuck or, or feeling bound or in some kind of mental entrapment. Um, I'm getting there could definitely be like some type of love spell or something. It has gone wrong. Um, someone who tried to tear you away from someone or hex your love life. It actually expedited everything. You now are have gotten closer to whoever you're meant to be with. And the thing about whatever this connection is that many of you are about to experience. Once you meet this person, there's no, there won't be any breaking up. You mean this person may not even be in a, an official exclusive relationship once this person comes into your life, they're not going to leave. I, I'm, I'm feeling that and I'm hearing you strongly. Whoever has been trying to cause chaos and conflict for this soulmate twin flame connection that you're destined to have here. It's not going to matter how much trickery or foolery these people do. This is something here that is balanced. Okay, it, it's a part of. Your karmic balance. Somebody here is upset because they cannot seem to confuse you 
and make you walk away from something that is actually for you. Whoever this person is, though, it's like once they decide it's you, they're not turning their back. So there is no amount of magic, manipulation, or anything else that's going to stop this person from coming towards you. That's blocked. It's blocked. And I feel like whoever has been trying to block you, that energy is being blocked out. We're still in this eclipse energy. Someone has worked very, very hard, possibly for the last seven years, 14 years. For some of you, there's been some type of blockage, an entity, spell, a hex, curse, jinx, or something that has been blocking you. This is finally coming to an end. And you're about to go through a major spiritual transformation. Yeah, you have, for some of you, there's a, a karmic, toxic, masculine, distorted masculine in the background. This person here has done everything to try to block your love life for at least the last seven years. It's a part of a karmic cycle. They can't stop it. Here's another king of pentacles here. So you can have a fire sign and an earth sign here. One of these two people, you're going to move forward with them quickly. But one of these masculines has been in the background for sure trying to block your destiny. It could be this king of wands here that's been doing spell work, or it could be this king of pentacles. For a lot of you, it could be this king of pentacles. This person here, I feel like this person has been even paying to watch you, spy, monitor you, but I don't even want to spend much energy. This king of take it however it resonates. The sign doesn't matter. But there is a masculine here between this king of wands and this king of pentacles. That's about to come at you very quickly to have the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is coming towards you and the only thing they're thinking about is marriage. And here's another King of Swords. So for some of you, you have a lot of people in your energy. And then the Two of Cups. But whoever one of these people, like this King of Wands, the King of Pentacles, whoever is coming towards you, like I said, they're fair. They're just. They know exactly what they want and that's what they're going after. And once they make a decision on you, that's it. It's It's final. Wow. Yeah. So you've been at a crossroads. Uh, spell work or manipulation has had someone at a crossroads here. And it's because you have a scorned lover that has purposely been spying on your connection and trying to block it. Look at this person here that's got this light shining on these two people. You have a scorned lover here who was not able to make a decision about you. They've been projecting energy onto you so that you wouldn't be able to make a decision. Some of you, for the longest, you're trying to figure out which one of these two or three people should you be moving forward with. It's, that's because of spell work and manipulation, 100%. But you have something coming in after you working hard on yourself, mastering yourself, another person that's been working on themselves. They're going to come in and they're like madly in love with you. Wow. Wow. Nine of Cups. Somebody, they're rushing in because they're like, yeah, you're their Nine of Cups. This could for sure be a new person or someone coming back, like I said, or you just taking things to the next level with somebody. Yeah, but the devil is here. The high priest is here. You could have a dark high priestess somewhere. Someone here has been trying to bind themselves to you, um, possibly trying to send some type of psychic or spiritual attack towards you. Maybe even towards someone else coming into your life. But you definitely have someone here who has been doing something very dark because they are obsessed with your energy. This person has been in your energetic field trying to cause issues. They don't want you to take action towards something new. Wow. Page of Wands, but you're going anyway. <laughs> and this person, whoever this person is, is stressed. Yep. The Emperor is here, the Wheel of Fortune, wow, and the Six of Wands. Whatever somebody tries to do, it backfired. Your true divine masculine, they're coming in and you're going, wow, you're going straight towards a happy family with this person. Yeah. Everything that you manifested, you're about to receive it. Tenfold. There's a person that tries to emotionally manipulate you or play games with you. They, there's nothing they can do anymore. It's completely over. Yeah, somebody here is very triggered. Yeah, toxicity here. Someone who was in a very toxic energy. This person was manipulating you, trying to be very narcissistic. They wanted to cause some kind of um, chaos and conflict in your life. It doesn't matter. Wow, 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 wow. Union coming together. It does not matter. Your union is well on its way if it's not here. Wow, romance. Somebody wants to wine and dine you, take you out. They want to get to know you. They want to flirt. 
Um, it's just the blockages removed. You're gonna I feel like there's a huge heart chakra um awakening or an expansion happening for a lot of people because for for a lot of you, you for sure have been hexed by somebody. Bad influences here, unsupportive friends and family, drugs and alcohol, bad habits. This is devil energy here. Somebody with bad habits who refuse to grow up to mature. Um, this person doesn't want to let you go. They can't hold on to you, though. You have here distance. Like I said, for some of you, this person, they could live at a distance. So they're doing a lot of stuff in your energetic field because they can't come around you physically. Yeah, this person is clingy. They won't let go. You have someone that's coming into your life, though, who's going to be very attentive, very affectionate. <laughs> they're not going to want to let you go. So whoever this person is, your energy, they let you go because they couldn't make a decision. Well, you have someone in your life now that once they get you, they're never going to let you go. Someone here is missing you. Um, remember I was saying, though, something about relocation? Some of you, you and your the person that you're going to end up with, the two of you could live at a distance or um, one of you or possibly maybe new to the other's area or something like that. But this person here is going to be loyal to you. Yeah, you're changing. They're changing. Pay attention to the signs. You're going to have an unexpected surprise here. You could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this person could be. Or the person that's been causing you issues in the background, they could have water highly aspected in their chart. This person is overthinking now. They're going crazy because they rejected you and because now you're rejecting them. Wow. You're about to have blessings here. Poss a possible pregnancy, uh, just a brand new beginning here. A lot of fertility in your life. You're receiving this because you put boundaries up to whoever or whatever this toxic thing in your life is. And so now you're going through an awakening. It's eliminating all of this toxicity in your life. Spirit is saying it is now safe for you to love you. Someone has a crush on you and they are a part of your soul purpose. Wow. Beautiful. So amazing. Um, I mean, there's. I, I want to just keep this real short and sweet the way that it is. <laughs> this is amazing though. building blocks so a lot of you now you're going to have a, like an actual courtship with someone it's building blocks here you're going to be able to do everything the right way again whoever's coming towards you now it's like um the two of you could have been at a fork in the road but everything happens for a reason okay um somebody here is not going to rush to be with you they're trying to make sure that their life is together your life is together the two of you could have felt orphaned Okay, been dealing with rejection or you can have people from your past that is feeling orphaned and rejected because you and this person have both moved on from toxic situations. You could be feeling a little like orphaned in your life right now. I also feel too with this connection, the two of you are going to get so, so, um, you're going to be so into one another that a lot of people are going to feel like you just kind of cut them out. Who? This is the love that a lot of you have been waiting on for a very, very long time. It's the kind of love that you've, you've been hoping, wishing, praying for, manifesting. Yeah, a deep knowing. And it's time for a nap. It's time for you to heal. Mending is here. In between worlds. You and someone are in between worlds or you were. But again, a decision has been made. This person is a part of your, your story. They're a part of your why. You have a soul contract and purpose with this individual, whoever they are. Yeah. It's time now for Divine Feminine for you to receive peace. Divine Masculine, you are stepping into um, more of a feminine energy. The yin energy, feminine energy is just about receiving. There being fertility, blessings, abundance. And you receive this by having peace. So moving away from this fork in the road, in between worlds type of energy, it's time to just make a decision. What do you want? Literally, God is saying, what do you want? Because you can have it and you don't want whatever this toxic situation is. So you need to purge that out. That's why this eclipse energy is here. To purge something out completely and for good.
It's like freedom is here. There's a blockage in your love life that's finally being removed. It's being eclipsed out. Words of affirmation, okay? So you have someone that's coming in. They're going to be affirming. They're going to assure you of how they feel, okay? Um, someone, like I said, once they come in, they don't want to lose you. I don't know. It's different for everyone. This could be someone returning, someone currently in your life, or someone new. But this is someone who is going to be able to openly express how they feel. And I think that it's very important that you're able to express how you feel also. Someone's love language could be words of affirmation, ego versus the self. So don't listen to your ego when it comes to this situation. You need to be your true, authentic self. Okay. Also, just make sure that you are not making decisions whether it's you going towards a person or running away from someone because of your ego. When I mean you say your ego, what I'm really referring to is your fear. Don't be intimidated by a new love. Don't be intimidated because of someone coming in, communicating with you differently. Whatever you are receiving is going to be di very different from what you've ever had before. Because it's something healthy. It's meant to go the distance. And sometimes when you've been in a lot of heartbreaking situations... Even a healthy love can be triggering to you. So you have her being at odds. So this could be someone coming back for some of you or someone in your life right now. And if it's just been a little bit rocky, I think there's, some, there's about to be a major shift. Some of you, if you're with someone right now, you definitely could have been experiencing a bit of... Um, like chaos or conflict in your life because that's what's being projected onto your connection. Some some of you, you and this person, you need to go ahead and have a serious conversation. Maybe you need to take a trip. Maybe you need some alone time. Okay. The two of you are going to find your way back into a good space. Okay. But there's a there's a, a toxic energy that needs to be eliminated. Maybe this is the way you and this person think, but you also have external factors that's affecting this connection as well. Yeah, cloud nine. So if you and someone have been at odds, you're about to be on cloud nine. Yeah, lover's lane. <laughs> you and this person, wow. A lot of intimacy, a lot of good um, communication, reconciliation here. So I'm, I'm picking up for some of you, you could be in a relationship or a situationship or whatever. Um, you've had some negative energy come at you, chaos and conflict that was most likely meant to separate you from this person. You're about to really overcome that. Whatever someone meant for, for bad or for evil to happen between you and someone, it didn't work. So you and someone definitely are about to get back on a good foot but i think that it's yeah this person they're about to communicate with you very soon and it's time for you and this person to start expressing yourselves so for those of you especially who are in connections you and your person you need to start affirming one another you need to go ahead and say how you feel because this is the type of connection that is going to be attacked a lot of you are connecting with your, your kingdom husband, your kingdom wife, your kingdom spouse, divine counterpart. Those connections are going to always be under attack, okay? You and this person need to start communicating with one another so that when you are at odds, you are able to see why you're truly at odds with one another and see if it's because of what's happening between the two of you or is your connection actually just being attacked, Somebody here doesn't know how the other person truly feels. And I feel like you need to go ahead and establish that. I feel like um, it's safe to be vulnerable here in whatever this situation is. Yeah, you and this person are building a future together. And slow down again. You don't have to rush. Reconciliation. And this was love at first sight. Some of you guys are going to be making up. Sexual healing is here. But you're this you're the best part in this person's life. And, and they're clear about this. Clarity is here. Best part. Sexual healing. Yeah. If you you and someone, I'm really picking up where some of you, it's like you have a connection here. 
it could have nearly been torn apart by like spell work or jealous envious friends family or whatever you and this person you don't have to rush this was love at first sight this person wants to build a future with you but you have been under some type of spiritual attack that's why i kept hearing after the hurricane so whatever has been thrown at you i feel like um a lot of temptation came towards you and your person this was done on purpose you, it's just your connection had to be tested. And I feel like the two of you passed this test. You're choosing one another. Whoever this is, you're, you and this person, you're choosing each other. It doesn't matter the spiritual attacks, the temptation. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you've learned this, this lesson here. Definitely some temptation here. Someone here could be the type who will fall victim of temptation, especially especially with like... um like strictly sexual types of connection so i feel like there's been some kind of toxic jezebel like energy that has been thrown at you and or this person and it was done purposely to throw you and one another off so that this third party energy could come in and oh we have mercury retrograde here as well there was an energy that somebody already knew with the eclipse energy there is a toxic energy that was being pushed out it was like another toxic energy was waiting to come right in. But I feel that whoever I'm talking about today, you and this person, you guys have been cleansing and clearing and getting rid of things that don't serve you. So when this toxic bad energy was, was pushed out, nothing came in to, in to replace it. So the two of you now, you have a clean slate. But there was a demon that was ready to come right in after the last one was pushed out to ruin this connection but you and this person you've already learned this spiritual lesson you know not to um be easily tricked by very deceptive energies this is your soulmate this person loves and accepts you and they respect you unconditionally yeah there's an addiction that is affecting this relationship so somebody here could have been a little superficial or whatever but radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go or there's, you know, codependency or whatever. But look, it says here, go slow. Take time to get to know each other. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward in marriage. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union. So someone here had to do some healing of like some childhood issues. Definitely could be some codependent like issues here. Healing family um, issues or whatever the case may be. So you and someone... There was a third party interference here. This interference was coming in so to force you and this person to be on a different page because the enemy could see that you and this person loved one another unconditionally. But I feel like you and this person both decided to put your boundaries up and you will, it allowed the two of you to go through a spiritual awakening. So you're, you're ascending together. This is a past life lover of yours. And the two of you now, I feel like you've become completely unavailable to the people in your life, especially from your past or the past life karmics or whomever, who have been trying to force you and this person to turn your back on one another. It says your true love is already a part of your life. They're already here and now. The timing may not be quite right because the two of you may be healing, but if you are patient here, it shows this relationship can stand the test of time. Some distance may bring you and this person clarity. So never be afraid of having some type of separation. Because these are two people who, when they separate, yeah, the two of you, you will come back together, second chance here. And you already know this. This person, they know it as well. It's like you needed to see something to make sure that it aligns with your morals and values. And again, the first card earlier was building blocks. It's like something here needed to be eliminated. It needed to be eclipsed out. To make sure that the two of you could build a very solid foundation that it wouldn't come crumbling down. Like I said, connections like this will face a lot of attacks. If somebody came at this connection real hard and they were not successful at ruining it. You and this person could have been at odds, but if you were, it was something that was very short-lived. And what actually happened is it probably forced you and this person to see that you really really care about one another and it also forced you and this person to do a lot of soul work and healing individually 
and the two of you are you're going your perspective about life love and relationships has changed this person has chosen to be loyal to you even if they rejected you this person could have rejected you there could have been a water sign doing spell work to make this person reject you <laughs> like i said whatever somebody was doing in the background it was it backfired somebody sent some type of chaos or conflict energy towards a connection and it i feel like it did nothing but push you and this person closer together you and this person are going to build a future together you're going to end up marrying this person again this could be someone that's already in your life or about to enter your life there is someone from your past okay who is for sure in your energy or the energy of your person that's causing a lot of chaos and conflict but they're a non-factor because whatever they did trust me it's gonna backfire <laughs> real bad someone here has decided that, that they will be marrying you you will go from single to being of someone's life partner and for some of you a parent as well as their business partner yeah whatever was coming against you it has already been blocked somebody wanted you or this person to totally reject one another that's not going to happen this person still misses you they cannot let you go they're becoming more clingy than ever now and they're going to come into union with you even if this person is at, if there is physical distance it doesn't matter whoever did this spell work because hmm. <laughs> i am seeing spell work whoever did this they're about to really see that they literally just push you into a union with somebody I'm so serious. This spell work backfired so bad. They just pushed you into a union. And if they were trying hard to keep somebody, they'll never, they'll never be with this person. They just pretty much solidified your connection and guaranteed that you and this person will come together in a physical union. You will, a lot of you, whoever this person is, if this re resonates with you, you will marry this person. Whoever this karmic masculine or distorted feminine is, these people, they can't even sleep at night because whatever they did, yeah, look, they cannot, but they screwed up big time because they're going to forever miss this opportunity. They will never get you or this person back. And they worked very hard to do this. Very hard. Yeah. <laughs> they wanted to take action in the spirit to sabotage a connection. Again, they wanted you and this person confused about one another and um, they tried to send this Jezebel toxic energy towards you. It did not work. This person has decided they're not letting you go. They are not letting you go and you're not letting this person go. You and this person are fighting for one another in the spirit. Whether you know it or not. Wow. Well, that's a very happy, beautiful ending. I was about to pull from the Kipper deck, but Spirit said no. So I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Uh, wow. Second chance and stability. So if somebody here was trying to stop you from someone from um, finally getting a relationship off the ground, you and this person are about to come together and you're going to have a very stable situation. I feel like a lot of you, you and this person have not been in a relationship. People have been blocking you so that you would not have a relationship you're about to go into a relationship with this person that's going to actually turn into an actual marriage. Seriously, somebody was like, I, they don't want you to be together. They pretty much just forced you and this person into a marriage because the spell work that they did to block you, it backfired. What it did actually is because the two of you, your, your true love for one another, it, caught, it, it counteracted everything that they sent at you. You and this person have a very, very strong spiritual connection where the two of you i'm telling you you're fighting in the spirit together so when people come against your relationship your souls recognize it and you're completely annihilating the 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 enemies that come against your union it's ordained by god it's protected you and this person have something very specific and and, and big to do so whoever is coming against you now <laughs> they should stop because I, I feel like they could be in a lot of trouble you're gonna see though whoever you you're gonna know also who these people are that's doing this to you and this person it could be friends family but definitely some of you like your past lovers 
they've sent out hexes and, and done some kind of spell work recently, that's gonna it has back it has already backfired. And if somebody tried to do like a breakup spell, wow. They just made this, some of you, if you're dealing with someone now, this person is about to be so into you, so clingy. You're going to know, you're going to be wondering why. It's because a breakup spell backfired. Somebody wanted to break you up, it actually made you closer. Somebody wanted this person to stop talking to you, now they want to propose and marry you. That's, that's what happens when you do spell work on, on any person or two people who are supposed to be together. <laughs> it just completely backfires. You're going to get the opposite result. My beloved, it says, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So like I said, for some of you, this person could be um, at a distance. You guys could live in the same place. But right now, maybe they are away, you know, on work, business, traveling, seeing family or something. There's something um, about distance between you and this person. Um or maybe you and this person, you're just separated right now. Maybe you're not communicating or you're not talking or you're not really seeing one another. This person's letting you know, regardless of the physical distance, spiritually, they're with you. They're connected to you. This is sweet. Embrace we have here. It says, through each other, you find the missing pieces. Oh, how sweet. The little babies. <laughs> Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Oh, passion and Cupid's arrow strikes. So you and this person are about to go into a time of being very playful. You're going to embrace one another. Like if you guys have both gone through situations, if there is trust issues, whatever has been holding the two of you back um, from your individual like journey or, or traumas, you're going to be more open to embracing the love that this person has to offer. And they're going to be more open with you as well. You and this person need to just go out, hang out. Like I said, maybe take a trip or do something fun. There's about to be a lot of romance that's about to come into your life. 